there has been a fresh fighting reported in Libya. And let's get you more now on that story. We can cross over to CGT and Yasa Hakim. Yasa, there is fresh fighting there in Libya, fueling fears of a civil war in the country. Can you give us more details on the clashes in Libya? Yes, the developments do fear uh, the civil war. It was an air raid by the uh, uh, National Army uh, led by uh, General Khalifa Haftar uh, on an airport and an airbase uh, saying that uh, this airbase included uh, uh, militants uh, from ISIL uh, groups and Islamist groups. Uh, the, but uh, on the other side, the, uh, the, the government and the presidential council said that the three people killed and uh, more than 10 injured in this air raid were not uh, ISIL uh, uh, militants, but they were uh, members of the army, soldiers from the army and the uh, militias led by the presidential council. Uh, and uh, this uh, could mean that any retaliation would lead to a fight uh, between both uh, size of the political uh, equation in Libya and could lead to uh, a, a civil war. Uh, at the moment, diplomatically, there's a lot of uh, activities in the last uh, 24 hours after this incident and the last few hours, sorry, after the incident. Uh, uh, General Khalifa Haftar is in Abu Dhabi, has left Abu Dhabi to meet uh, the prince there to discuss the prime minister, the prime minister uh, to discuss uh, the events uh, there. Uh, Ahmed Matik, the, the presidential council's vice chairman, is in Cairo trying to discuss meetings there. Martin Kobler, the UN envoy, says that he will make changes, amendments to the Sukhairat agreement to try to appease both sides, while the head of the presidential, uh, sorry, the head of the parliament uh, has met an AU delegation that includes the president of Congo in Libya to try to force some kind of a peace process. So the events are unfolding quickly diplomatically, uh, hoping that they can stop the uh, ground uh, offensive from both sides and try to reach a peaceful solution that would avoid the civil war. Well, yes, of course, there's going to be concern about the ongoing peace process. What happens there now? Is it under threat? Of course, yes. Uh, at this point, the, the, uh, the, the presidential council is at odds with the, uh, the, uh, the parliament. And both have been uh, uh, recognized by the international community. So the, 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 the whole problem is concerned with the division of power uh, after this Khairat agreement that was signed in Morocco uh, a couple of years ago. It, it, the, there, there are differences on the details. And the UN envoy Martin Kopler has said that uh, at, at the end now, because he, there has not been any changes in the uh, amendments, they're trying to reach a new uh, agreement based on the Sukhairat agreement that would have the points that would be uh, applicable to both. And one of the major issues is the, uh, the army. Who would lead the army? Both sides want to lead the army. But uh, uh, the General Khalifa Haftar and the National Army uh, uh, feel that they are the recognized uh, Libyan army, while the Presidential Council uh, says they have uh, their own uh, army that should lead the country. And this is one of the major sticking points. Another sticking point, obviously, is the oil revenue, to which side who would control the oil revenues. And the, the solution to all these problems is to try to reach one unified government, one unified uh, presidential council, and one unified parliament. But as long as there are two in two parts of the country, each of them saying they are the recognized uh, leaders of the country, then this problem will continue. And uh, the reason for all the diplomatic movements now is to try to find uh, a meeting point between both sides and, uh, the, uh, the, uh, and to try to also uh, move away any influence uh, from the militias in the country uh, that uh, were supposed to disarm and unite inside the army. Uh, and as well as the, the Islamist uh, forces that are trying to take uh, one side, and which is the side of the Islamist uh, militias. Uh, all this will only happen if there is a peace process. As long as there is no unified uh, leadership, then Libya will continue to be in chaos. Right. Uh, Yasser Hakim for us there with an update on the disturbing developments coming out of Libya.